Good morning, everybody. We are at Schooly Palooza 2023. There's already a lot of rigs out here and it hasn't even officially started yet. So we're expecting to see a bunch more. But in the meantime, it is a beautiful sunny day out here and we are currently not getting the amount of solar that we'd like to. So um, we are gonna go up and clean our solar panels uh, because we probably haven't done that for about one or two months. So let's get after it. Overall, not too bad, but you can tell they're definitely dusty and for sure need a cleaning. All right, now that the solar panels are clean, I suspect we're getting much better energy. And uh, while we're up here on the ladder, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a bird's eye view of this place. So keep in mind, um, and I don't know how the wind is here, pretty windy, so I don't know how the wind noise is gonna be, but this is gonna be a lot bigger than this right now. And so this is the family section that we're in. Over there is the party section, and over there is the introvert section, and over there is like the completely quiet section. Well, I've been outside cleaning the panels. Susanna's been hard at work in here making lattes and making breakfast. <laughs> so pretty exciting stuff. I don't know how this video is gonna be. I don't know what Schooly Palooza is even really like. This is our first year being here and so far we've met really great people and we even had a game night over here last night. Um, and it's not typical to meet a bunch of people in this lifestyle. Usually we're secluded in the forest somewhere or in the desert and there's not many people around. We do say hi to the people we meet, um, but here at Schooly Palooza there's just so many people and everybody just you know wants to hang out and have fun. In other news, we built these drawers and this is really exciting for us because now we've got a spot to actually store things. Um, I still need to paint them and put the handles on them, but it's a whole lot better than our storage solutions before, which was basically all over the bus. It is so bright out here. I totally recommend if you come to Schoolypalooza to bring a hat or to bring some sort of uh, like sunglasses or something because it is so bright out here. And it's windy too, so I apologize in advance if the audio isn't on point on this one, but we'll see how it turns out. So I was just walking and I saw this on the ground. That's a geode right there. It's really small, the opening of it. Let's see if I can get the sun on it. Very small in the opening, but that's the geo. It's the first geode I've ever found. You know, you always see them at gift shops that they're big and whatnot, and this is just a little sliver. Um, but maybe we'll try to crack it open later and see if there's anything bigger inside. I don't know. And look at this, somebody has a horse out here. There's literally all kinds of rigs. You don't have to just have a schoolie. Um, you know, people are out here on a you know horse. People are having their school bus that's towing a Jeep. Um, we've got an RV next to us, you know, um, just vans out here. So it doesn't have to be a schoolie to come to Schoolie Palooza, which is interesting because I thought so in the name. Um, so you get to just see everybody out here. It's, it's a great time. All right, so now we're walking around Schooly Palooza and uh, there's just so many buses to see, so many vans and other vehicles to see. It's just amazing what people can do. The human mind is basically unlimited with its ingenuity. So Suzanne and I were out gathering wood and uh, we got back and then uh, Debbie and Dee from Shelly's Nest volunteered to come and help gather wood. So we're all gonna have a fire together and it's gonna be great. Uh, but look at all these beautiful mountain views. Right now we've got this big tree trunk here and we're breaking off some of the little stuff so that way we don't just have a bunch of twigs around camp. And uh, then we'll just carry the big stuff back. Well, we got back with the wood and now it's time to cut it up. And so we're gonna get out the DeWalt chainsaw and figure that out. All right, so this is the DeWalt 20 volt uh, chainsaw. It's a 12 inch bar and chain. And uh, we're running it off of a five 
amp hour battery right now. Uh, it's really great because all it needs is the electricity and then you do have to put bar and chain oil in just like any other type of chainsaw. But we're gonna go ahead and start cutting. Now that's a good wood stack that should last us a while. It's double deep there, so hopefully get a few days out of that. Okay, so we're out for a walk and we just look around and there are starlings on almost everybody's rigs. Let me let me show. So we've got our rig over there. There's a starling. There's one there. Um, so that's two, three, four, five. That might be one over there. I'm not sure. Um, there's six, seven, and there is eight, nine. There's one literally right there. Um, so if you're wondering if people are actually using the Starlink, we are, yep, lots of people are. And that's just in this one little like camera pan area, but we've seen uh, almost more rigs with Starlink than not maybe. I don't know, maybe 50-50. I'm not sure, there's just so many people with Starlink. It's such a game changer. Um, the service has gotten faster since they've uh, deployed more satellites. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it works uh, in the future. Taking you guys back up again, it's nightfall. Uh, now is the time where we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. From earlier when you saw us getting all that wood, now we've got the fire going outside and I'll show you what Susanna's up to. Susanna's been hard at work making this charcuterie tray for us for dinner to enjoy by the fire. <laughs> and here is the fruits of our labor. Susanna's got the charcuterie board. We've got the fire going. And uh, was it worth getting all that, you know, bringing that tree all the way over here? Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's nice to be able to sit around the fire and warm up. Yeah. What a beautiful night. <laughs> and we'll pick you up in the morning if nothing else happens. And good morning, everybody. We are awake finally, and uh, Susanna got a shower in, but it's almost lunchtime by this point, so we're gonna have brunch, and I'll show you what that looks like for us. Got eggs, potatoes, onion, and we're gonna fry that up and make some breakfast tacos for brunch. the great things about having a cooking surface that you can cook with outside is that then you end up doing your prep work outside as well and cutting onions now we don't have to stink up the bus and no more tears because the breeze blows all the onion smell away. Susanna's out now so that's a wonderful thing she's doing some reading and uh, while that's cooking and this is such a beautiful view here. I'm just gonna kind of take you around real quick. So out here, we've got just so many buses, but beyond the buses are all these beautiful, beautiful mountains. And it's just been amazing to be here and be making new friends. I mean, somebody's out of a Prius. Um, so coming to Schooly Palooza, I know I keep saying this, but it doesn't matter what rig you're in, it doesn't have to be a schoolie. All right, with that, we have our breakfast and we've got our Susanna. <laughs> and Susanna just made lattes, so very excited about that. And after this, we'll probably walk around a little bit and see what's going on around camp. We're out for a walk now and uh, there's all sorts of rigs. I'm going to show you a few. So there's a fire truck. That one's for sale. There's a ProMaster driving in, older Mercedes. This one is a vegan cafe. There's all sorts of them over here. There's a box truck build. <laughs> Look at that one with the rounded edge on the back. Lots of people have brought their off-road vehicles. Look at that bus with the beautiful flowers. Oh, we there's a bus with beautiful flowers that just drove back there. 
probably see it come out in a second. Oh, they stopped. <laughs> but look, there's old RVs, there's new RVs. There's tow behinds, there's minivans, there's SUVs, there's people in tents, there's truck bed um, people, there's all sorts of different rigs out here. Here's an interesting one right here, a back porch on it. He must really trust his carpentry skills. Somebody brought a boat. Somebody brought a boat. I don't know if they're <laughs> staying in the boat or like what the deal is, but they've got a TP next to it. This van's got tons of stickers on it. That's pretty cool. So we thought that this whole thing started like a day or two ago, but I guess it starts tomorrow. So we just got here early and uh, we've just been seeing more and more rigs showing up as time went on. Beautiful sunsets here. Rigs as far as the eye can see. So this is pretty cool. These people have a wind turbine. It's not spinning right now, but we're expecting some high winds here tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see what happens then. Just human beings in general are just so creative and they come up with such amazing things here. And uh, yeah, so we're really excited to see all these different people's builds. We saw a schoolie with a loft bed, as that was in, so cool. yeah, like you felt like you were in an apartment, <laughs> like a studio apartment. Mm -hmm. They had a ladder up to it, it had a really big roof raise on it. And so, um, it's the one right across from us. You might have seen it in one of our uh, previous clips here in this video, but uh, yeah, it's sunset now, and we are walking back to camp to light the campfire. Something for sure, unless you have a bike, you're gonna get in a lot of walking here. The closer I guess the sunset and you know it's sundown, the more fires just keep popping up. There's some over here and just uh, people on the rooftop decks enjoying the view. But that's where we're gonna leave you for today. And we toured a really interesting rig, which you're gonna come out with a separate video for because it wouldn't have done it justice to just put it in this video. And uh, we'll pick you up again tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We're safe and sound inside. We've got our coffee, but it is so windy outside. We're so glad we took down our awning yesterday. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how windy it is outside. There's no way we're getting footage outside without wind noise today. So oh, and the I'll just... dust is mm. everywhere. Yeah, it's like a dust storm out there here I'm gonna show you I mean as you can see this tent has seen better days thankfully nobody was sleeping in there last night and usually there's like tons of mountains in the background but not so much with all this dust oh, something on tent. now this is the first official day of schooly palooza so this is pretty interesting that this is how just absolutely crazy it is the people with pop tops they're popping them down yeah. or else the wind would blow it away we put our starlink on the ground so that way um it wouldn't blow off of our roof and get smashed yeah um, they're probably gonna cancel <laughs> all the events for today because like it's so dusty out there so dusty The wind is supposed to die down um, around, you know, probably by nightfall. So as the day goes on, the wind will get less and less. Um, but we'll see um, what what ends up happening if we are going to get out and do anything tonight. We're planning on having uh, some people over here to play some games. So we'll uh, we'll see if they make the walk over here and all the dust, or if we go over there. So we decided that we are going to go out and brave the wind. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We're just getting so cooped up in here. It's time to get out of the bus. It's so windy out here. It's, uh, you get in between buses to take a break from the wind. So this video is getting really long. So we're going to go ahead and end it here. And so make sure you subscribe for part two. We're going to, um, come out with another video of our uh, journey here. Probably come out with, uh, um, you know, like a beginner's guide because this is our first year here 
and it was kind of like neat to figure out like what was going on and everything and so just a, a guide as to what to expect uh, so make sure you stick around and subscribe for that one